Hello, good people. Welcome back to the Cup Games YouTube channel. My name is Evan, and we play Goats here. Just got finished up with Goat Format Championship number 22 as part of the GoatFormat.com tournament series. Uh, played Warriors, as usual. Um, this is going to be the deck profile, and then after this is going to be all of the rounds as replays. So let's get into the deck. I believe this is the exact same list that I played in the PWCQ. Uh, but for those of you that haven't seen that... Uh, of course, we're playing one BLS, uh, three Blade Knight. This is a card that I've considered cutting to two recently, um, but it being a light and me not liking Zombra really all that much in the main, uh, especially with uh, the amount of Warriors just kind of dwindling a little bit, um, just opted to, to keep the Blade Knight at three. Um, all the toolbox cards of DD Warrior Lady, Exiled Forest Level 2, Sasuke, Donza Lug, two Kaikus, uh, one Breaker and one Tribe. Um, everything pretty standard there. Uh, I'm not usually a fan of having the moth and the spirit reaper in the main i don't like to set cards at all game one um i don't think that it's necessarily bad to include those cards in your main those are very powerful cards uh and i have played them from time to time um however just with the way that i like to play the deck the way i like to build it i like to keep my opponent's dead cards as dead as possible um in game one i think that's a big strength of warriors um <clears throat> and only playing 13 monsters uh, you get to play two jar of greeds which lets you do that which helps keep their dust shoots um dead as well in game one so you you have an opponent with dead knocks dead dust shoots sometimes dead mind control stuff like that um i just think uh that's a very good way um to win games with this deck so spell lineup of course we have delinquent duo pot of greed graceful charity heavy storm mst snatch still premature burial two knock two rota not much to say there um, not playing Book of Moon, though I have been more impressed with Book of Moon recently. Um, so that's a card that I would like to try out, uh, putting in the main deck once again. Um, I have actually been playing with Brain Control in the main, just trying that out. Hey, Brain Control's been a little iffy, so I'm not, not super high on that card just yet. Um, though I do think it serves a purpose, um, in the sideboard whenever we get to that. Uh, trap lineup, we have the Trap Trinity, Mirror Force, uh, Ring of Destruction, Torrential Tribute, and we have Call of the Haunted. I'm playing two Dust Tornado. Uh, I've gone back and forth between two and three, but I'm actually closer to one than I am to three right now, but I think two is still fine. Um, two Sakuretsu Armors. Oh, I did actually play three Sakuretsu Armors, I believe. Yeah, I played three Sakuretsu Armors in the PWCQ deck list. Um, cut it back to two for a third copy of, uh, or sorry, for a second copy of Jar of Greed. Um, again, Jar of Greed just facilitates the, the low monster count um, and helps you get to your power cards. And three Sakuretsus isn't really necessary in a format that's not seeing a whole lot of Warriors or Earth Aggro right now. So I think two is fine. You do still want the protection. Um, and it is, of course, still good against the aggressive decks. So uh, two is fine there. Um, three Solemn Judgment, one of my favorite cards of all time. Don't really need to talk about that. Uh, I think you should just be playing three Trap Dust Shoot. Period. Done. Card's so good. Uh, it is even good on the draw in a lot of the matchups. Um, obviously, it's not good against the aggressive decks, but again, since we're cutting Sakuretsu armor down to two, um, and we like we don't need Zombra, and we're not seeing a whole lot of Warriors in Earth Aggro, I think that's perfectly fine. I think you're perfectly okay with playing three of these. Um, and even in those matchups, it's still pretty decent if you have it in your opening hand on the play. Um, two Jar of Greeds, like I said, went up on two of these. I like that it facilitates the, the low monster count. Um, I like it against Chaos Turbo. It punishes bad players who just want to throw off blind MSTs. Um, it's good at being set uh, with another card and your opponent um, playing Heavy Storm because they're like, oh, going to get an easy plus one, and it end up, ends up just being a one-for-one. One. But you get their Heavy Storm out early. So then after that, you don't really have to worry about it unless they're a Magician of Faith deck. So I really like the utility of Jar of Greed. I'm pretty happy about having two in the main here. Getting onto the side, um, we have three Monarchs. We have two Mobius and one Zaborg. I have brought the Zaborg back into the deck. Um, it has performed very well. Uh, with this, like, Triple Spy, Chaos Sorcerer, Magician of Faith sort of juke a little bit, I really like having the Monarchs in there because you, you start to play a different game plan. You're still aggressive, um, but you can also play, like, the aggressive with just, you know, big, beefy Monarch creatures and Chaos Sorcerer. Even Spy can be aggressive. And then all the while, like, Magician of Faith is sort of burying your opponent. Um, and it also helps counteract uh, sort of what Chaos Turbo is going to want to do against you um, in the in the post-board games. Um, so really kind of happy with the sideboard. I would like to try some different variations. I've been on this sort of sideboard for a while. Um, but it's just really worked out with this sort of Monarch 
spy chaos or sorcerer magician of faith package um of course next we do have three king tiger wong who's uh, everybody knows that just i'm just huge on this card um i didn't really feel the need for the assure priest anymore um but i really 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 like king tiger it's good against burn um it's good against any of the recruiter decks return um uh it's good against i played against last turn um actually in uh, round one of day two of this tournament it's very good there it's good against reasoning gate um i would be very hard pressed to cut this card <laughs> down from three uh, i know not a lot of people are playing burn right now but with chaos turbo taking five of the top eight slots in the gfc i think we may see a resurgence in burn um i don't think that's a bad idea for players to pick up at all um next we have three gravekeeper spies um if i'm playing this big monarch package uh, and I'm trying to sort of switch up how the deck plays in a lot of matchups post-board. I like the three spies rather than like a 2-1 split with Zombra or just all Zombras like what Moxies was playing today. Um, in the GFC, I love his list. Um, got a lot of stuff in there that I want to try out, and he was just playing the two Zombras in the board. I, I don't hate that either. Um, but this is just personally how I built this sideboard. If I was going to not build it without the Monarchs, I may look at Zombras more um, because I'm still going in more of an aggressive uh, form post board so not knocking his build just saying this is how i built this so i want the three spies over the zombras um the chaos sorcerer again we sort of talked about that it goes with this whole package of sort of changing things up uh chaos sorcerer also good against chaos turbo um good against the control decks and stuff like that um <clears throat> and of course magician of faith just a really strong card uh, we expect our opponent to take, to take out their trap dust shoots and their knocks and their mind controls so Magician of Faith is going to get a whole lot of value and sort of give your deck a dimension that you don't really have pre-board, um, and that is card advantage. You usually get your card advantage through, like, um, attacking in the battle phase, but Magician of Faith is going to get you a card back. If it's a Pot of Greed, that's great. Graceful Charity, great. Delinquent Duo, great. Um, really anything that it brings back, because we play a lot of power spells in this deck. Uh, One Book of Moon, like I said earlier, it's a card I've been more impressed by recently, um, and I think it fits well in here. It's good against the control decks. Um, it's good if you're bringing in Spies and Magician of Faith. You can just reset stuff, which is really nice. Um, it can also protect some of your monsters um, from some of like the Sakuretsu armors that a lot of decks are going to be bringing in. It can protect from Chaos Sorcerer, and then maybe you tribute off your monster for a Zaborg or something. Um, so pretty happy about the Book of Moon. Uh, the Brain Control it's been good. It's been underwhelming. I, I'm not really sure where I am on the card yet. Um, I haven't been impressed with it enough to buy an ultimate rare. We'll put it that way. <laughs> but I, I don't think it's a terrible inclusion. Uh, I know a lot of people have been playing in Warriors recently, so um, just wanted to give it a shot, mostly. Uh, and then we have our uh, Spell Trap Destruction. We have one Zing and one Dust Tornado. Um, pretty self-explanatory there, but uh, yeah. Uh, that's the deck we played. Uh, we will get into the matches.